This sword changes elements based on the biome. Did you know that there is a sword that can change its elements based on the biome you are in in Terraria Calamity mod? And you can craft it as early as pre hard mode. Meet the biome blade. To craft it, you need a wooden sword and you need to get 20 blocks from each of most biome, which includes dirt blocks, sand blocks, ice blocks, corrupted or crimson blocks, glowing mushrooms, marble blocks, granite blocks, hellstone, and corals. And bam, you get yourself the biome blade. This sword is quite powerful, as it deals 55 base damage and fires different projectiles based on the biome you are in. That's right, the color and debuff inflicted by the projectile varies based on the biome that the player is in. The color will change to light green and inflict Phenom on jungle, light blue and glacial state on snow biome, dark blue and crush depth on the ocean, purple on the corruption, dark red on the crimson, dark purple and frostburn on the dungeon, light yellow and holy flames on the desert, neon blue and temporal sadness on the glowing mushroom biome, white on space, Flame Red and Brimstone Flames on Underworld or Hell Biome Light Orange and Astral Infection debuff on the Astral Biome Yellow and Holy Flames on the Hallowed Biome And Dark Green with Armor Crunch debuff if you are in none of these biomes And what's even crazier, you can even get this sword before any boss is defeated If you have the Reverse Sharp But it might soon change as we get T-Mod Loader updated to version 1.4 Fun Fact If you travel into a different biome after a projectile is fired the projectile will change into that biome's variant. The sword gets instantly underpowered when it comes to hard mode, but fret not, as there is an upgrade to it after defeating Plantera and Calamitas, the true biome blade. It requires these materials, 5 living shards from Plantera, 5 ectoplasms from post-Plantera dungeon, 10 depth cells, 10 luminals, and 5 tenebris obtainable from Abyss after Calamitas is defeated. Quite simple to craft, this upgrade boosts the damage to 160 and makes it attacks faster. While the color projectile follows the previous upgrade variants, a notable upgrade is jungle's color now inflicts plague debuff instead of venom debuff. True biome blade is upgradable again after defeating moonlord to omega biome blade, using these materials. While the base damage is reduced to 130, the projectile now homes into enemies. It also attacks faster and also gets affected by moon events. Blood Moon will give the player the battle buff, which increases spawn rate. Frost Moon will give the player rapid healing buff, which greatly increases your life regen. Pumpkin Moon will give well fed buff, which gives a minor improvement in all stats. It is quite a good sword to use against Providence. And yes, it is upgradable again to Galaxia after defeating the Founder of Gods, the penultimate upgrade. Strangely, the base damage is reduced again to 99 but it becomes faster and fires even more deadly spread of strong homing projectiles. It deals all effects from previous upgrades but now it gives the players buffs and shoots additional unique projectiles that differ from each biome. Jungle gives thorns buff and shoot crystal leaves. Snow gives warm buff and shoot ice bombs. Ocean or sulfur sea gives wet buff and shoots flareon bubbles. Astral infection gives graffiti normalizer buff and shoots astral stars. Corruption gives Wrath buff and shoots Cursed Flames. Crimson gives Rage buff and shoots Golden Showers. Dungeon gives Danger Sense buff and shoots Water Ball. Desert gives Endurance buff and shoots Onyx Blast. Glowing Mushroom Biome gives Palunger buff and shoots Glowing Mushroom Projectiles. Underworld gives the player Infernal buff and shoots Fireballs. The Hallowed Biome gives Heart Rich buff and shoots Rainbow Explosions. Nebula Pillar gives magic power and shoots Nebula Blast Vortex Pillar gives ammo reservation buffs and shoots Vortex Rockets Stardust Pillar gives summoning buff and shoots Stardust Shell Shots Solar Pillar gives Titan buff and shoots Solar Explosions And if the player is not on these biomes, then it will give the player the Dryad's Blessing buff and shoots Terrarian Orbs Galaxia is quite a strong sword and is quite good to use against Yaron, the Jungle Dragon And fun fact this sword shares the same name with Meta Knight Sword from Kirby. And lastly, the final ultimate upgrade most of us know, Arc of the Cosmos. Craftable by combining Galaxia, Arc of the Elements, and 5 Auric Bars. Possibly the best sword to use against Supreme Calamitas and Dragon Exomax. I absolutely love this sword. It deals 140 base damage and swings very fast. It fires powerful Aeon Beams and Galaxian Stars that deal Elemental Mix debuff. 
It has the same effects from the previous upgrade as well, and again, I can't recommend you enough to use this sword in your melee playthrough against the two final bosses. Well, for now at least, because we know more are coming. That's about it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching, and have a good day. See ya!